Hello to the bonus lecture. What are you going to see in this lecture? You are going to take a hint on how to make a time impact analysis either for on an update or for an extension of time. But remember, because this might confuse a lot, extension of time is not just only preparing the time impact analysis. What you are going to do here is only the time impact analysis but you have all your documents, you have to write and describe, you have to write the cause, the effect, substantial documents, you have to have a lot of items just to prove your case. It's like going to the court and you have to prove your case. So what you're going to see here, it's a hint for how you're going to prepare a time impact analysis. And here you are going to see it, you are going to use this update. Let's open it. Cool. So, how do time impact analysis work? We can either use it on this baseline, or we can show it here. For an example, in the current duration, we will assume that we are on 30 June, because no need for now. There's a lot of items, if you're a contractor, if you're reviewing one, there's a lot of differences. But here, this one is already late. I usually recommend, there is a lot of ways, by the way, and it's a totally different subject on the whole subject. And if you really want to work as a claim specialist, this is an amazing job and it pays very well, believe me. So here I'll give you just a hint, let's say an entry door for you to check, you might love it. And if you want more, I might make another course for it and explain to you how to prepare full EOT, at least the time and back way. So here I would like to prefer first add the WBS and we will name this WBS let's say claim events. This is an example. And then we might add our events. It's not shown because of the group and sort, you should know this by now. You are now an expert in B6. So here it is, and you will add your activity, name it TIA dash, let's say client CLI dash 1000, whatsoever, it's just a hint, remember? And here, for example, the client has issued a different drawings, totally different architectural drawings. So we can say the client changed the architectural. We it's like describing what's happening exactly. Drawings as per instruction or letter number xxx. You should mention it here as well. And this you might add it as a milestone. Let's say start milestone. And this happened on, let's say, yes, 1 July. So in order to do so, as the change come here, it will definitely end back this one. But the change came here, and you have to prepare and submit your shop drawings. So in Shot's case, what do you think whose fault it is? For example, you are now delayed without any other thing and you already is going to start now. So is it the fault of the client that he changed? Or is it your fault or how it will work? This is a very debatable subject, but it's kind of easy. I want you to think about it. What do you think what will happen here? So let's assume another item. I'll keep this for now. Assume client requested to add a different material whatsoever. This material, it as per let's say VO instruction, or it's better to add an extension to the guard room to the guard room. You are asked per VO instruction. 
number and you're going placed here so also this instruction we will assume it has been given start milestone is given the same date but here it's different because we have already finished the structure it works so now we are going to add more events the same as this one exactly spare brand submit we have to do it exactly the same this is one of the ways but and this is one of the ways to do it fast as well add three more okay review by the consultant resubmit approval by the consultant this doesn't take any time just for rough magnitude rough order magnitude link link activities and congratulations link this one this one remember if the change is not major you might need to take the same exact dates say so 22 12 resubmit 12 the approval by the consultant 6 now run code this is already finished and this one will finish in September and you are going to relate these activities with the excavation here now this is the claim and here you have delayed as well so now you are going to get the time but you might not get compensated because you are already delayed it's very debatable and there should be a lot of documents but just keep in mind there is different types of claim which is you can get compensable claim you can get a non-compensable claim you can get an extension of time and compensable none which is excusable and compensable non-excusable non-compensable excusable and non-compensable so now these are the different times excusable compensable which means that you have the excuse to get delayed because of the client change or whatsoever changes or force majeure but you don't have the right to claim for money or prolongation costs in such case which is the money of the overheads and everything for the period that you're going to stay late it's a quite different subject but here take a hint we will link the approval to the excavation works link activity because it was already linked before and here this is the new one if you run this will totally change so this means your delay might be covered here so in short case most probably you have to check a lot of documents that this is for sure an excusable delay but is it compensable or not that means are you going to get paid for extra time staying by meaning what by meaning if you are going to stay in january you're going to pay for stuff general preliminaries up to january only but now you have to pay three months more who's going to pay for the stuff preliminaries for these three months is it you shall you anchor as a contractor or is the client shall pay you to compensate this this is what's meant by compensable there's a lot can can be done here. There is a way lot and there is a lot of different schools. There you I have submitted a claim event once it reached 279 claim events. Can you imagine that I have 179 claim events and I had to study each and every one. And I also recommend to add a bar here and write original duration and then the affected project duration. Shots case this will show much clearly what's going on to your project and how much it was like for January then it's extended to April. this if you're really interested I might make a totally different course for it and it's a very interested subject and I really recommend if you work to a claim specialist there's a lot of courses also you can take if you want one course just comment on the meshes I might prepare another course for you explaining the time impact analysis in deep details.